new one on yet. I'm sure I can share this stuff. I don't have that capability yet. We shall see if anyone jumps on here. where these discs are kind of weird. There's a like. I just don't know if anybody's watching them. What happened here? Reconnect, please. Oh, we're back on. Okay, I don't know what's going there. Audio or video? Let's try this. Always on your lunch break. Is it showing up? For you, I'm trying to see. It keeps on bringing me some error miss. Error in audio, it says. Anyways, I might have to keep stay really close to the camera. Make sure nothing's freaking out on it. But uh, some comments and it's showing up. Okay. I have some really interesting discs here check this stuff out have you all heard of a landmine this is from doomsday discs max over at throw more has allowed me to borrow this and another disc look at this rim profile straight up like a wheel this is the weirdest disc i've probably ever held in my life and it's Doomsday Discs alongside another one called the Frag. It's got like a rainbow stamp with like a dude pulling the pin on a grenade. This is like an A2 from Prodigy and a Tilt came together. It's they're, This plastic's pretty flexy. This one's pretty stiff. But this thing straight up looks like a landmine. They're pretty interesting. I have to say... If a company's trying to be super unique, they win. Doomsday Discs. I've not thrown anything except these a couple times. Here's another one. I'm not throwing it today. I just had it. Uh, it's called the Dystopia. I think it's like a distance driver. This is the most normal feeling disc they've got. It actually feels pretty good. Noob Sim House Missile Put Landmine and Borg. Oh, okay. Interesting. I don't know anything about them. But I do have them because uh, I keep doing these approach disc challenges. I've done two now. Every time I get somebody saying, I can't believe you throw, didn't throw this disc or this. So I'm trying to find some more approach discs to do a video with. So I've got the Landmine and the Frag. I got a breaker, kind of feels like a zone with a bead on it. I've not thrown those before, but this one was really pretty. Trevor Harbolt, Har Harbolt, uh, tour series one. I've got a harpoon from Lone Star Discs. This was pretty cool. It basically feels like a zone, but this plastic is crazy. And it's glow, it's crazy. So I'm looking for a couple more to do another challenge with. But, those are like the weird discs any uh, castoplast people out there though. This is not an approach disc. I got a couple of these babies. The, I don't even want to try to say it. The gold, I guess, is what it is. Distance driver 13.5, negative 0.5, and 3. This is their brand new driver, so... I'm going to be interested to try this out in a video. But also, I've got some more PM goodies. <laughs> Road rash on a couple. But i got some Kodakus. But they are in Magma Soft. Basinger got me to try it. I actually kind of like it. I've never been big on uh, throwing uh, base plastic mids. I've got three. The other one must be in my truck still because I don't know where it is. But got those and some Magma Soft Tuis to test out. 
very soft plastic, so really nice. Sorry, I'm going to keep checking my phone because I don't want a uh, error message to pop up. I'm going to mess around a little bit. I'm probably about 100 feet or so. Oh, look at this. Hmm. Oh, that went far. I found out today at the Throwmore Disc Golf Shop with their radar gun that I can putt like... 36 miles an hour <laughs> like that so oh that was close that could go in yeah I already got one from like a hundred <laughs> yeah I've got a very spinny putt so I guess it makes sense for me to be able to Get that. Hmm. It's very consistent for me to putt from that far. But uh, yeah, I mainly wanted to jump on. Just kind of get some more content out for y'all. Me waste some time outside, show you all those new discs. I'm gonna mess around with them real quick. Landmine, if you've not seen it yet, one of the weirdest discs I've ever held before. I'm going to throw it up on a hyzer. Yep. And then the frag. Okay, this one, I'm going to put it on anhyzer because I know it's overstable. Oh, it's one of those that makes you laugh whenever you throw it. That is a grip lock, too. Anybody go through the chat? Yeah, I threw it upside down. Just moved. Okay, who's this? UT Vol? Just moved in to Western North Carolina area. Those mountains look like they're not. I'm not very far from uh, North Carolina. I'm right in the most southeast or southwestern part of Virginia, right where Tennessee and Kentucky meet, Virginia. So for me to get to North Carolina, um, it's not far. Um, I'm trying to think, like Asheville, Asheville. Is maybe like an hour and 30 minute drive for me. So I can get into North Carolina pretty quick. I've played some courses there like Jackson and um, North Cove, the golf course like con converted to disc golf. And uh, what's the other one? Richmond Hills, I played it. And Mars Hills. There's the harpoon. It's pretty solid feeling disc, honestly. I'm throwing. The breaker. There you go. But yeah, I've uh, been in some parts not. I don't know exactly what part you'd be in. But thanks for subscribing for one. And Okay, so you're in Asheville. So I'm not very far, honestly. Um, it takes me about an hour and 15 minutes to get to Johnson City. Then I have to drive past there. Johnson City, Tennessee. And... Um, I have to drive past there about probably 30 minutes or so and I can be to Asheville depending on traffic and stuff but we go through there quite a bit just going to different places so yeah your your mountains are going to be very very similar to mine I'm gonna throw these little base plastic I'm trying to get these beat in not at the basket by the way <laughs> I'm just trying to throw these I like those already because they feel like an in-between like they're not as overstable as the um, premium plastic Kotaku's or Kotaku's I still don't know how to say it I keep forgetting to look it up uh, 
So they're going to beat into being a good straight flyer, I think. I threw bay singers, and it was really nice. Let's see. Anybody else? I'm going to pick you all up with me. Harpoon can kind of be like A2, but I feel like it's almost more close to like the zone. Honestly, uh, the rim feels closer to the zone than an A2 to me. I don't know. That's me. I threw A2s for a very long time when I was on a street team. So I was pretty familiar with them. It was the last um, prodigy disc to leave my bag, honestly. And that was whenever I started bagging the Kea here recently. So it was the last prodigy disc I had. So harpoon, I can see it being close to A2, but... I feel like speed wise it's closer to like a zone because it's pretty shallow feeling to me that's me but uh gotta get this disc up here pretty far i mowed finally so not as bad on that side of stuff but yeah getting some more i'm gonna turn this around so i can look at some of the stuff Okay, you're on street team for now? Yep. I was on street team for, I think about three years around that. I got off street team as soon as they ended up creating a disc that I would have bagged probably a lot more. Was uh, There was talk for the longest time about the uh, A5 and like an, another approach disc that was going to be overstable, like a zone, which I think ended up being the distortion. And as soon as I left the street team, those discs released. And I was like, are you kidding me? I actually think the A5 is one of the better discs that Prodigy has put out in a while. Very nice thrower. So... Yeah, it was cool. I was just ready for kind of a different path for myself. Nothing really happened to make me leave much. It was just, it was just time for me to get a little change. So that's what we did. Okay, yeah, uh, UT Raw, yeah. Uh, thanks for jumping on and watching a little bit. This is more so an impromptu, hopefully that's not too loud, impromptu uh, little session since I had the time. So I'm going to try to make live streams a little bit more um, regular. Just need more topics, or if y'all just like watching me try to throw stuff in i've already thrown one in today so that was nice so i'm kind of game for whatever so let me know thanks for stopping in though and more on here oh seven yeah change is good sometimes but the a5 i think is really nice i threw it i like how it's low profile feels like a zone but it's very workable so i think it's it was a really good add to their lineup. This is what I gotta say. Try some putts. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> First putt, Yankee Doodle. A little bit off on that one. I'll get a couple more. There we go. up in a second. I'm sure there ain't nothing else. You almost aced with the pole cat? Dude, they're really workable. I gotta say, pole cats are smooth. You hit them on the angle, they're gonna hold it. I think they're one of the better, like, pick a line and throw it discs. Not hyzers, really, but uh, if you hit the line at it, it's gonna hold it. So I can see that'd been awesome to see that. I'm gonna grab these putters real quick.
I got a question. Do you all like putting with new putters or do you like beating putters in and using them for as long as possible? I'm kind of torn myself. Oh, let's get back on here. There we go. Yeah, the Halo Polecat's nice. I had a uh, low battery on my phone just kick up, so I had to, I don't know if the stream paused or not, but I did ask if y'all like bagging um, like new putters for putting or if you like beating putters in like crazy and use them for as long as possible because i always like saying i like a fresh putter in my hand but now i say that and i've not switched putters in a really long time right now since i got these like i've got a bunch of them but i don't ever take these out of the bag Yank. Dude. Almost. Should start closer. I'm back at 30 feet. <laughs> They're a little wet too. It rained earlier today. I'm going to pick up his towel over here. Check you out. Cycling in the home practice. Okay. Yeah, I can definitely see that. I've done similar. What I usually do in general whenever I'm actually on a good putting routine is um, I don't necessarily cycle them that much, but I do get a bunch of practice putters and I use them all during put, uh, putting practice and they all just end up getting beat so it doesn't matter that much but uh oh gosh i usually do like cycling but then i start finding myself getting really comfortable for some reason with the ones i'm putting and just never take them out for a while until i beat them to death but i do usually season my putters by practice putting too so whoops make a few is there any uh, approach discs that y'all um, know that are not like super known I think I'm gonna try to get my buddy to let me use a uh, distortion for the next video I've used an a5 already and a threes and a twos but um I think I'm gonna use those, maybe a jokery or something. I at least made one. I need to practice put some more. Yeah. That can happen. I've been in such a weird uh, space myself here lately after I left street team of like trying so many discs. I find discs I really like and then I find so many other ones that are just as good. And I wanna keep trying the other ones but I don't wanna change too much. I mean, make one, miss one to the right. I'm going to tell you, one of my least favorite things to do is miss a putt to the right. I absolutely do not like it. I feel like my putting form's wrong when I do that. Like that's a bad putt. And that's a good putt. 
But a lot of that comes down to me lining myself up wrong or rushing a putt. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Putting clinic right now, baby. My fingers are a little sore. Too, from throwing earlier. Let's see, I've tried to. And see, um, hold on, I'm just going to carry you with me while I talk. Um, when I was on the street team and stuff, people would always just be like, just throw the A2 or the A3. I don't have anything against them, to tell you the truth. Um, it's just my honest opinion. I'm, I don't take anything away from the discs. I think the A2s and A3s are really good discs. Uh, my problem was that... For me, the A2 and A3 both were their own shot outside of a disc like a zone. This is me personally, because I feel like they were faster and have more distance potential and skip potential. That it's one of those things whenever you are tied to throwing only the A2 or A3, you have to be really good at those touchier shots for distance wise like forehands than you do if you're throwing a slower filling disc like a zone or something so i was never really hating on a zone or on an a2 or a3 i just wanted to have that option like the a5 or the distortion they have now so i think they are great discs i like the way they fly and the way they felt i just don't wanted another option so i am i do think the a2 and a3 are good discs I was throwing the A4 uh, right before I left the street team. I liked it a lot. I was throwing it for flip up forehands. Premium plastic A4s. I wasn't throwing base plastic. I didn't like the base plastic ones. Not that the plastic wasn't good, they just beat up too fast. But the A4 premium plastics were really nice. But the rim was just kind of weird. It was the only thing on those, so you had to get past that. Make sure I get something out of this. I am going to actually make some short putts. <laughs> I don't feel like a joint. Not really happy whenever you miss one out of four on those, but yeah, uh, I gotta read that. I know you commented something. Distortion did fill that spot a little, but yeah, um, I haven't thrown the distortion much, maybe once or twice. Hey, what are you doing out here? I'm live streaming, by the way. I'm live streaming, by the way, so I'm going to put you on YouTube. Well, I'm waiting on your daddy and him to pick me up. Oh, well. So does that mean I can't talk? Yep, that's exactly what it means. <laughs> <laughs> There's people going to be commenting saying I'm going to be mean to you. So you may miss that putt over there. I'm sure they probably hear the whooshes. <laughs> Hearing them roosters. My mama entered the entered the building here. Don't be mean. <laughs> Somebody said, "Don't be mean." No, the, uh, the A5s, though, I like them. Um, I tell people all the time that I feel like they feel like a zone and do kind of fly like a zone, but a beat-up zone, like a well-seasoned zone, something that you can trust on it to flip up. 
and get a good straight flight out of or a low powered hyzer. It flies like a zone, but outside of that, it's more close to a beat up one, which I like because I like not having to overpower my forehands and stuff to get that flight. And distortion, I guess, is just a touch more stable than that, but they were real similar feeling when I felt the distortion. I try not to be mean. Southern. I'm gonna try and make a couple 32 footers or so. I like that, I ain't. That one maybe? Yeah. I just ain't got to do a lot of putting here or anything. Yanks. There we go. Player B, I guess. Is what it is. I think I'm getting old. I think I'm getting arthritis in my middle finger on this hand. Every time I have to throw power drives a lot, it gets achy. Kind of affects me. But by the way, while I was at Throw More Disc Off today, me and Max did a video in shop. A little uh, speed gun challenge. So that'll be coming out here at some point, hopefully pretty soon. So it was pretty fun. If you've not been over to see Max, you should be mean to him. He's okay to be mean to him. Oh, let's see here. Yeah, player twos are, I wish you could tap them in sometimes. Sometimes mine are really trash though too. <laughs> Depending on the day we've uh i should have a video coming out here soon of me and uh josh basinger with some other people that'll be a fun one i'm going to start editing my portion of it to probably tonight Those felt clean. Yeah. Of course, I had to miss the last one. Let's see here. Yeah, basically, I want to just show you all those discs. I'm going to show you all one more time just because they're so weird. If somebody's on that wasn't on it first. The frag. <laughs> Wonky, baby. This rim is fat. I don't mean pH. This thing is chunky rim. And then uh, the landmine. Another. I, I don't know if I can get it to do it or not. I swear. Like, this thing would almost stand up on its own look at that look there is a perfect example of how weird this disc is it stands up on its own very odd but those were the main discs um comment on some of my videos this one if you want any other approach disc because i know there's numerous approach discs on the market and I miss some or I forget about them because I'm getting older, older. Um, let me know if there's some you want to see that I've not had in any of my other videos that are approach disc challenges. Uh, I've done two so far, so I've had probably about 12 to 16 different approach discs on the channel. So I'm going to do another one, maybe at the ridge. But I think I'm going to end it there, guys. Not go too too long tonight but uh dang, are they roofing by hand with a hammer yes they are son this is the country <laughs> they are roofing with some hammers i do believe but yeah i think i'm gonna pop off just wanted to get on here give you all something else to watch and kind of talk back and forth with me 
So uh, yeah, let me know if you're liking the live streams and stuff. I'm trying to keep them relaxed. I might do a couple at some point where I'm just talking or something. I got a little fire pit. Might be able to have a fireside chat. But uh, yeah, that's all I got, guys. Let's fumble around and try to end this video without being awkward. Impossible. Okay, yep, impossible. There we go. Maybe. So it's off.